I don't dwell on why we don't speak anymore because I know I can't change people. And I've learned that no matter how badly I want you to be nicer or how much I wish you'd text me first, either way I sit on my phone every day and you were nice enough to say hi to me first. Now you're nice enough to leave. I'm sure your reason for letting me go is valid in your mind and I will respect that. If you have hurt me, know that I'm healing well from what you did. Because the people I still talk to were nice enough to supply their bandages. If I hurt you, it was never my intention and I apologize for what I did. If we simply drifted apart, know that the world is small and our ships are bound to pass each other at some point in time and hey, maybe one of us will text first. But my grandfather always used to say there are certain types of people where if you shake hands with them, you gotta count your fingers after. And even though I have enough fingers left to write a poem about you, I don't think I have enough to text you first. So I'm sorry again. So here's what you know. You know my nickname. You know how hard I work and how I love to dance. You know how terrible my jokes are. How much I hate needles, how weird my laugh sounds. Maybe you know too much. Or not enough. But here's what you should know. I'm great. I've had struggles, but I've lived to tell about them. I'm learning every day, I'm doing what I love. I've moved on with my life, which means I've moved on from you. When I say that you were nice enough, I do mean it. We were both nice enough whether I did it to you or you did it to me. One of us decided there was too much pointlessness in trying to water a wilting flower. I don't hate you. And I certainly hope you don't hate me. But I don't feel empty without you. Sorry for the third time. You might have been one of those people I was done unreasonably apologizing to. That list is too long for my remaining fingers to flip through. I've apologized enough to allow me a few thousand more mistakes. And here's the thing. We can forgive, but we'll never forget. And if we can't forgive, we must forget. Which is why I say I don't hate anyone. I can't hate someone I don't remember. Because dwelling is like digging a hole in wet sand. It ceases to be productive because it caves back in on top of your hands that are working so tirelessly on digging. And I believe we all have our own personal beaches. Where every wave comes in towards shore, it takes whatever rocks and shells that weren't saved. And I'm sorry I didn't save you. Apology number four. But I know why you might have been that close to the water to begin with. So I can't dwell on you when there's a whole island to discover. For those of you who don't speak to me anymore, it's all right. Another year has gone and I'm still discovering more to my island. I found more rocks, more shells. I've been given a lot of supplies, like more bandages and returned apologies. And a note that says, Aren't you tired of being sorry?